everybody, man, Monger Girl Zero One here, and I'm, uh, Nura, Rise of the Yokai Clan. Have you heard of it? I know I have, and a lot before this for some reason. I bet the manga is good. The anime is. Nah. Um, one, the DVD case. This is, like, I can't believe that anime came in this. Like,. I bought a really crappy DVD out of a $5 bargain bin once, and it was in the same case. This was $30. I don't know why I even bought it. It's like not even the whole series. It's episode 1 through 13. And look, this thing's coming out of the plastic. <laughs> this, this Neon Alley company, I don't, I don't like you. I'm not saying it out of nowhere. Just, this is bad. Things must have quality, like this. Now, note this is a save DVD, but honestly, like, this is nice. It has one full plastic, so this is in full plastic. And then it has the entire series. And then more full plastic, with a nice little rep repetition of the cover art. And all the episodes have lists on them. Like, honestly. Get it together. Um. Uh. Now. For the series, because that was all just about the DVD case. Like, this makes me so mad. And I don't know why. Just, like, are you kidding me? Pay money! I did. My daddy did. But, um, anyway. The series is not bad. It's not bad. It's not spectacularly wondrous, though. Like, I don't love it. Um. I, I it left no impression on me. The only thing that I can honestly say that I, like, usually if I watch an anime, I'll think about it, and it'll be like, yeah, or something like that, and the only thing that this made me do was, like, his grandpa was this super leader of all the yokai, which are, like, demons, Akuma, Akashi, etc., and, um, <laughs> his head and his hair, it's just... <laughs> It's not even something that's pointed out, it's something that you kind of realize, and it's it's fucking hilarious. I... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it makes me laugh so hard for no reason. But if you look at his grandpa, then you realize that his grandpa was, like, the younger version of the main character's transformation. Then you will laugh. And it just, it took me to the 12 episode, and I just, I wasn't really, but it... Made me laugh really hard, and that's the only thing that stuck with me. Now, this is only episode 1 through 13, and episode 13 is useless because it's a recap on everything you just watched. Everything. And it's like, why the fuck is this an episode? This is not an episode. This is like a recap. Like, nothing new is on there. Um, DVD designs are okay. Um. But, um, the voice acting isn't spectacular, which is weird, because I watched it in Japanese with English subtitles. I didn't think it was that super good. And I think it has a lot of random stuff that, if you don't think about it, makes sense. But if you're, like, trying to, like, this should be good, and it's not that good, this makes me mad. Like, have some sort of, like, ooh, it all makes sense now. It doesn't do that. It's kind of just, like, these two girls that just met are walking home... And they get ambushed, and kidnapped, and they're kept in this giant fucking cage that's like as big as my room. And it's like, where did they get that? Like, nothing really makes super duper a lot of sense. I feel like it's just... I feel like it's just something that got turned into an anime. I know a lot of people have been talking about this, I believe. I know that it's pop His feet look really weird on the cover. In anime, feet never look right. I don't know why. I always kind of stare at them, they never look right. Um, but yeah, this series just, it left no impression on me. It's about a boy who does not want to inherit the leader, being the leader of all these yokai, which, like I said, are demons, ghosts, oogly booglies, etc. And he's just like, I don't want to do it. And it's like, guess what? You have demon powers. And he's like, oh, I guess I gotta. And he's got, like, like, honestly, two demons that can disguise themselves as humans, and they don't really look that different. 
are going to school with him, and he does not notice, and they show up, and, like, they show up walking to school in the background, and you're like, wait. And you notice them, and then at the end of the episode, they're like, yeah, we've been coming to school with you? And he's like, what? And it's like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, I don't love this. It took me a while to get into it, because I was, like, drawing and eating as I was going. And it's just not that... It doesn't leave an impression. If you're just getting into anime, you'll probably like it. If you're not, then you probably won't. Um, I don't enjoy this that much. I kind of regret buying it, I'll be honest. I should have bought Fate, which had the entire series for five more dollars right below it. And I was like, mm, no, I'll try this. This sounds like something. It's, it reminds me of Dean Angel a lot, for some reason. Like, kid inherits family thing. Likes girls, girl starts to kind of like his transformation more than him. And it's, his design also looks like it. And his name is Riko Nura. And I keep thinking of Riku from Blood Blast, whenever people say his name. But anyway, it's not something that leaves an impression. But it's something to watch if you're bored. You can be like, oh, no! And of course, the villain-ish person always gets his own backstory, which is thrown in here, which isn't a bad one, but it's like, that does not need it. But anyway, that is what I have to say about Nure Rise of the Yokai Clan, and I will watch the rest of it, but online. I will not be buying it. Um, thank you for watching. Bye.